Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. Look at all that fun, grainy texture. Look at all these nukes and crevices that watercolor can create. It is so much fun just to play with color. And you see the scrapings there and the, where the pigment flows, and where it stays and where it lands and how much pigment's in there. All this fun stuff is in this created, really simple, atmospheric, coastal scene. This is a coastal scene of Arcadia Park in Maine. I give you a reference photo and I talk about how I create this. It's not perfect like the photo, but it's not meant to be. It's an expression of what I see, right? In the photograph or an expression if I was there, how I'd paint it. And just go about showing you how I would go about doing this. And then it gives you some ideas, right? And you can either choose to use them or not choose to use them. Change it a little bit. Like I changed the color of the water a little bit, the rocks a little bit, playing around with credit cards and paintbrushes. Really, really fun. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. I'd love to hear if you'd love to play with this kind of, you know, method and medium with scraping and adding paint and dripping and all that fun stuff. Also check out my Patreon. I have ad free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream in the top tier. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. Uh, we do like longer videos there more in depth with the reference. Um, the live stream is great because you can ask me all kinds of questions. We can paint together and that happens once a month. So, and you can start it and stop it anytime you want. You can come back anytime you want. If you want to cancel for the summer, come back from fall, all that good stuff. That's what great about Patreon. And going forward, I'm actually adding a Facebook page for all my patrons so they can share their photos and chit chat with each other and give support. So without further ado, let's get, and you can check that out right here. Boop. Without further ado, let's get painting Arcadia Park. All right, let's go over supplies. I have my Bohang 100% uh, cotton cold pressed paper block. The link to this particular block is in my description. I'll be using a one inch flat wash craft brush, probably my number 12 Aqua Elite. Playing around with some credit cards, spray bottle, all that good stuff. So there's a reference photo of this piece, this photo from Maine's Arcadia National Park. This park is great. It has these amazing rock formations. It's kind of fun to play around with using a credit card for making rocks. And then just this simple kind of like, if you break it down, it's just kind of like a diagonal this way, zigzag, like that. And then you see like the little horizon line of the ocean. Don't get so caught up in all that. You don't need to have a traceable or anything like that for this. Just basically dissecting it by drawing the simple line that goes up here because it's basically one fourth down, right? That's the the eye line for this particular one. You see the little mound right here over to the left and there's like trees kind of coming up here and then you know it's going down here. Like I said, it's kind of like the zigzag. There's big rocks kind of forming here. And we're just going to do this like abstract kind of rocks kind of poking through here. Don't get so bogged down that it's not perfect. The formations, see I'm just kind of squiggling in some rocks. If you need to do like a ruler, whatnot for your first line, you know, it goes across here, or even just use a piece, piece of paper, if you don't have a ruler, get that first straight line. I'm gonna erase my, my wobbly one. Probably like the only thing that you'd need to know is where that line goes. But even still, it's an expression. It's not supposed to be this perfect thing. The tree formations are up here. And I would erase this line here. And we're just going to have fun just throwing in color, right? All different ways. Oops. So in the photograph, you see they're like more reddish kind of rocks. Not super really intense red, but. I'm using the burnt sienna, burnt umber, all that kind of fun stuff. And then we got these evergreen trees kind of up here and just like that green land mass here. A lot of grays, play around with that. The grays are pretty easy. I'm just gonna take my flat wash brush. I'm gonna loosen up some paints gray. That color alone, if you wanna add more blue to it, but I think this color alone. And you can start to play with just putting in the color itself. So I'm gonna hold this, or you can lean it on something. You can lean it on any kind of box or thing. If we can put it on an angle, it'd be nice. I'm gonna start to just put in some color up, I mean, water up here, excuse me. It's got a tint already because I had my brush was kind of tinted. I'm gonna put in some more water. 
this paper really soaks up the water. And where the water stops, the paint will stop. So I'm going to put that in. I'm just grabbing this, this beautiful paint gray, just throwing it in the top, and it's going to slowly bleed down. Kind of put some on an angle like this. We're changing the clouds a little bit. There isn't actually no clouds in the picture, but we're just kind of changing it up. See, so just now it's got this nice, beautiful bleed. That's why you put it on an angle. It naturally does it for you. You can hold it, but, you know, this is easier for you. And it stops where the water stops, right? So at this point, we're, we got this nice, beautiful bleed. You want to play around with maybe putting it down a little bit if you don't want the rest to bleed, right? We can start to mess around with the ocean and the rock formations. If the ocean, you can mess around with the ocean. You might want to leave a little white space in between so it doesn't bleed into it. Now the ocean is kind of like gray, but I'm going to add a little blue. So I've got some ultramarine blue. And again, it's wet on wet in this situation. Taking that flat wash brush. Like I said, I'm getting it wet all the way almost to the, to the edge of where that water is. I mean, where that line is. And just kind of going in here and around those little rocks that I kind of drew. My brush still has a color in it. I didn't clean it off. And again, you can play around with lifting the paper up if you want to. Just kind of throwing this in your little area here. Take your time. Grab some more water. This paper really soaks it up. You don't want a puddle, but you don't want it like not wet enough that you can't kind of bleed some of the paint. It's a soaker. Okay. I'm going to grab more blue and more ultramarine blue and paint gray. Water this down. It's like a tea consistency. Mmm, that's deeper than... Again, this is an expression, so you don't have to follow the photograph to a T. You're using an expression. Like you see, I put that color in. I love that deep color. I can lean it down like that. Start to go in and play around with putting it in over here. It will bleed down as well. It's my expression, my interpretation. Yours can be totally different. You can make it more turquoise. You can add the peacock blue, a little bit of yellow. See, and you get that turquoise kind of color. There is some kind of turquoise color happening down here. I'm going to play around with adding some of that in. So a couple of tones are going on in there. And you've got that blue-gray again, leading. Just having fun putting the color in with this simple flat wash brush. Wasn't really, you know, mind blowing, just throwing this bluish gray in. And like I left that little line between so I don't have it bleeding into the sky while the sky's still wet. Now you can keep it just like this. You can add a little bit deeper color. I'm going to add a little bit deeper. Under the, some of these rock areas. Okay. Now, at this point, you can see there's a lot of greens happening up here and, and some browns and like reddish rock tones. I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to put this down now flat. Cleaning up my brush, removing some of this crazy color that just bled everywhere. Mixing up some green kind of tones. And we already have our lovely reds with the browns here. So I've got cabin yellow deep. I'm going to add some Prussian blue. It's a nice bright Kelly green. I always like to add a little burnt umber to that. And I go back in and add way more blue. Get that deep green and a little brown. Now it's a dark deep green. There's no like, there's a little bit of light green in here. You can take some more yellow and then we'll come later. See? Simple with the greens. So now again, we're going to clean off our flat wash brush. All right, so we're going to play around with the rock colors. I'm going to loosen up some of this um, 
burnt sienna i got some burnt umber some paints gray over here i'm gonna put the yellow ochre i'm gonna take our credit card i'm just gonna dip it in some water play around with dipping this and just gonna put some of the dark right off the tube like this even grab the yellow ochre right and you can grab your paints gray and make little lines it's kind of fun to play with. Like I said, it's an inspiration. It's not supposed to look exactly like the rocks. Going like this. Just getting some lines in here. Playing around with the credit card. Now that's a little too dark with the <laughs> with the <laughs> burnt sienna, but that's okay. We can mess around with that. I'm messing around with the paint's gray. Just kind of play around with this. Up in here, this is yellow ochre. Yeah. There's something fun about playing with the credit card. You can grab some of that dark green, scrape it over here. Make some little lines where the trees will be. We're just gonna have fun. So then this is like this the initial scraping part. If you want to get a little looser with the paint, I'm gonna add some ultramarine blue. Just getting a little crazy here with these uh, credit cards, and then I'm gonna go in and spray it with the water bottle. And see what have what kind of fun we have. Unexpected kind of abstract. Okay. <laughs> Last time I sprayed it with alcohol and I was like, wonder why it's not moving anywhere. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Stuff to spray. It's gonna make a little bit of a mess. So you might want to put some towels down on your table. I'm put some paper towels down myself. And hold it up like this and start to turn it. And see what we got as it's bleeding. crying, it's bleeding, holding away up here, bleeding. Remember, this is an abstract, it's not supposed to be perfect. Let's see what happens with the blue pigment. A little too much front sienna, right? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. You can kind of lift it up with a paper towel. If it got into your ocean a little bit, that's no big deal. Kind of moving this paint around a little bit with paper towel. Right? You can scrape again with the, and the paint goes into the cracks. And then here, removing paint. If it's too wet, it's not gonna remove it well. So you start to see the white, for like the rocks. Again, it's an expression. It's not gonna be perfect. Removing, scraping, and twisting your hand. An expression of Arcadia Park. And up in here, let's probably take my number 12 brush. I'm gonna clean it off. Get it loose kind of up in here. And I start to add my green. I'm gonna add a little more burnt umber browns to my green. To add a, I put some water up here and now I'm just gonna kind of tap around. All right? Clean up my brush. And I'm gonna add a little water up in here. And we're just going to tippy tap. You can add the tip of your brush, just go like here, like a little line, and kind of tap on the side to make the trees, the evergreen trees. 
tip tap like so you do a little line and tip tap tip tap tip on the sides let me show you up close so once you just kind of get this a little bit wet see it's very damp and wet just take your brush if you need a skinnier brush do that you're making a line and you're kind of tip tapping and kind of touching the tree and you got that pretty tree doing the line tip tap and go and tap and that's how you get those beautiful evergreen trees this one's a little goofy damp but that's fine and you don't have to do a million of them and you can just have some peeking out in here a little darker color with some Payne's gray so you want just a few and when this dries you can go back in too and add some trees just a little peeking tree here and those are our trees this is all kind of like going there's a little green formation here like I said and this you can kind of just paint in I'm going to add a little burnt umber paint gray and some of this beautiful burnt sienna in here that's that little green mound formation that we talked about in the photograph connecting a little bit it's really not connecting to this island but you can clean up your brush and you can play I'm going to move some of this color the grays grays mixing with the green mixing with this I'm going to color the rocks in here some blues remember it's an expression it's not this perfect painting still want to fix it it's still very very wet in here so you're going to want to wait till this dries a little bit you can take some thick paint and start to play around with adding little doodads this is kind of dry over here but again it has that look of the picture but not perfect i'm going to just tap in some dark green you see the dark green formation rocks over here there's a big one here it'll keep bleeding if it's super wet if the paint is thick I'm gonna add some thick brown it won't bleed as much it will just kind of stop and that's what we're kind of going for a little thicker little tippy taps you can kind of play around with putting in some color in here you know little lines where the rocks have those little cracks but not perfect see I'm just gonna play around with really fast Got some green over here some dark green I want my eye to kind of go over here now it's all in here you want the viewer to move around the page maybe that's a little too dark so I'm gonna just lighten that up again play around with like adding in the credit card again you could scrape some lines down now it's damp where you can scrape the rock just turn the card see that gotta wait till it's damp enough not super wet it's all a little dance that's too wet you can scrape over here It's fun to play this kind of blit in here, but who cares? That's my interpretation of Arcadia Park. If you want to clean up your little credit card, you can scrape in. Um, you can add, I have some white gouache. You, can, you don't really see white caps, but you can add a little white in there. So I'm gonna grab some gouache, clean up my brush. This is number 12. Loosen up the gouache a little bit. And you can see a little white. Woo! Play around with a little white. Tapping in a little thicker. So it's like white, kind of like, you know, like this splattering happening where the ocean is splattering on the rocks. You just tippy tap where it's still damp around here. You get that shh kind of ocean around here. Just tapping a little bit where you see that like burst of little white caps right in that area it will do its thing you could play around adding a little bit 
well that's a little too white but in here I'm gonna take my brush mix those blue grays you can do a couple little lines it's still very damp but you can go back in I don't want it too, super too perfect and that's kind of like really that's it that's my interpretation of this like I said I can go back in here when this is dry and go do more trees but I kind of really like the way it looks it's the interpretation of what I saw on the picture it's not perfect it's my interpretation to get this color a little darker this dark green and do the tippy taps for the trees Again, you don't have to do that. Grab some yellow. It's looking a little too brown. Even still, the brown is kind of cool. Tippy tap motion. Tippy tap. I like a tippy tap. <laughs> and that's my Arcadia Park picture. I think it was pretty quick, fun. Like I said, interpretation. It doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe this is a little too blobby here. I might scrape next to that rock formation so it doesn't look so goofy yeah looks a little more like it's supposed to play around but I kind of love how it came out you know I, it's not perfect but it's that feeling I was going for the feeling of just like this atmospheric really kind of abstract kind of Arcadia Park picture. So let me know if this was helpful for you to create something like this. Remember, take your time. You're just doing one flat wash brush. Lean it up here a little bit when you do this area. Kind of the same in here, but you can kind of play in. And then we scraped a bunch of colors and we sprayed them. And then we just put in a little bit of water up here with some greens and then we did those tippy tap trees. And you scraped again when it got damp. But I love this whole energy of this and it's not perfect, like the photograph, but you get the energy of it, right? So I hope you like this tutorial. Let me know, leave a comment below. You know, play around with the cards, spraying, moving the paint around, you'll get better. And you know, the blocks are great because then you don't have to stretch the paper. When you're stretching paper, you basically have to soak it in a tub for about five minutes, five, 10 minutes, take it out of the tub, like let it, get all the excess water off let it dry and when it dries then you can paint on it because it will turn into like a nice flat surface if you have to get super wet with the paint you can tape it down and it still won't buckle this is this is buckling now but it's going to lie flat because it's glued on all the sides except one little section right in here it will eventually just go when it dries down flat and then you can take it off and you have a nice flat picture because what and what and there's another way you can do it too you can iron the back of it um, no steam just hot iron and you can flatten it out too all right guys i hope this was fun get out of your head just play with the paint scrape it move it groove it <laughs> and then when this is done like this is a little bit dry you can see a couple you can add with one of your brushes i'm gonna take some little white caps if you want out here there's a couple little ones it's peeking through on the outside out here the gouache is great for that Simple. You could add some um, just little V um, seagulls, whatever. But see, it's just the drawing was just this little zip, dip, do, do, do. It's a zigzag, zig, zag, zig, zag. That's it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't hit the bell notification button, please hit that bell notification button. My sometimes my videos are just kind of like put on a certain. They're not put on the certain same time all the time. So. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.